This is gonna be a no-nonsense video showing you how to uninstall Waves plugins the easy way. I'm also gonna leave a list of my top Waves plugins in the description down below, so check those out if you're looking for some new source. Before we sneak into this boss's lair, I've got a question for you. That question is, what's the number one Waves plugin I can't live without? Leave a comment down below with your guess, but if you don't know, don't worry, I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. Let's get into it. So, to uninstall your Waves plugins, you first need to go to Waves Center. Central. Now, let's open up Wave Central because it takes a little time to load. But here we are. The thing is, as far as I can tell, you cannot uninstall one plugin at a time. You can go into where that plugin is installed and delete it. And I'll show you how to delete the DLL file. But in order to actually uninstall everything, you need to come into Waves Central, go to settings, and here you can uninstall all the version 10 plugins, all the version 11 plugins, all the version 12 plugins. Now, I have a bunch of version 11 plugins, mostly version 11, and then we got one version 10. So we could uninstall version 10, and that would just uninstall Dbref. But what you could do is just uninstall everything and then install the plugins you actually want. Now I'm gonna quickly show you where you need to go to actually delete those DLL files because even if you uninstall through this, they will leave your DLL files behind and the programs you're using will still attempt to load those Waves plugins. And you may get an error saying those plugins can't work but it will still be on your computer. So first of all, go to settings and see where your folder is. We can see our sample libraries data folder is in C in program files 86 in waves. Now we don't really care about the sample libraries. We can go through that and actually delete those. But right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to PC, then go to local disk, then go to program files 86. This is where your 64 bit programs are gonna be. Then we'll go into VST plugins, see if there's any wave stuff here. As you can see, there's a wave show here. We could delete that. Then we've also got waves over here. We could also delete that, but this is a full folder. So yeah, we delete that. You can go into data and basically delete all the stuff you don't want. So the plugins, we can come in here and delete the actual Dbref plugin and all that sort of stuff. Then we go to version 11 and delete all these and we can actually go inside those and delete those. And then we can also go to program files and go to VST plugins. And as you can see, there's more waves stuff over here that we need to delete. And that will pretty much get rid of all the files you need to get rid of in order to uninstall your waves plugins properly. If you wanna learn how to create your own beats from scratch the easiest way, then you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula. All you need to do is go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course or click on the link in the description. When you go there, you'll be able to sign up to my free course, which will take you from creating a melody all the way to mastering your beat. And it's absolutely free, so you've got nothing to lose, except for the chance at joining this course because it won't be available forever. So make sure you sign up as soon as possible. Link down below, already told you where to go. Now it's time to answer that question from earlier. That question was, what's the number one Waves plugin that I can't live without? And for this answer, I'm gonna give you two answers. One for beats, one for songs. One for beats is our bass. Our bass is absolutely killer, yeah? It brings out your 808 when it's not hitting the way you want to. It brings out your synth bass when that's not hitting the way you want to. It is just a go-to plugin to make your bass sound even better. I highly suggest it. And for songs, what I've got is something that's for vocals and that's our Vox. This is a super easy way to compress your vocals and have your vocals sounding great without doing much to it. It's the quick way to get your vocals compressed and sounding smooth like your uncle that sold Coke in the 80s. So definitely get our bass, our vox are great. <laughs> if there are any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.